everybody. Craig Durr, Research Director with the Futurum Group. I am here live at Zoomtopia. We're still coming to you live from the show floor, and I'm excited to share with you an interview I've been looking forward to with Joseph Chong. Joseph is the head of marketing for products, solutions, and industry marketing. Joseph, how are you doing? Doing great. Good. Great having you at Zoomtopia. I, you know, this has been a really great event. You guys have had so much innovation launched on stage. I was talking to someone earlier and I joked about the alphabet soup, but you cover all these areas and let's talk about it. You have AI, CX, and EX, right? That's right. It's a lot coming out. Why don't you share with me a little bit about each of them? Let's, let's talk about AI to start off with. That's the trifecta. AI, uh, it's, trans, it's a transformational technology and the way we think about it is, number one, increasing productivity. Right. And then we're a collaboration platform, so how can it help us collaborate better and then Thirdly, just how do we enhance people's skill set with it? Okay. Th those are the main those are the main areas of value that we're yeah. trying to provide. Yeah. Now I had some time talking to Jeff Smith earlier. We talked about the meeting experience of AI, but it touches on a lot of other areas of your product. Share with me, we talked about CX and we talked about some other areas where it touches as well. Yeah. So AI Companion is our horizontal that goes across the knowledge worker use cases. But in the CX, we have some really great applications of AI. Okay. One of them is within our, in our events platform, which we put Zoomtopia on, on our hybrid events platform. Yeah, so we're yeah. using it today. And um, one of the key capabilities is when you talk to events organizers, um, just sending out those invitations and the registration emails, it's a chore, because you've got to pull in information from a lot of different places. And it can be templatized. Yeah. So in our email builder, um, we're activating AI so that it can build those registration and invitation emails for you, just pulling from different sources if you're an event organizer. So that's wow. going to be a huge time saver. It is. Um, and, and a really simple but powerful use case. You also have AI integrated into a revenue engine, the revenue accelerator, right? Yeah. Tell, tell me about that. Well, um, salespeople love to use Zoom because um, yeah. it's just a high quality meetings experience. And so within revenue accelerator, it's just the coaching, the training, um, and the use cases that will help sellers level up the way they present themselves uh, from a sentiment perspective, word choice, looking at what um, words were used, competitor terms, to help just coach them up. Right. Yeah. It, it's, it's a compelling use case. I'm really excited about that. Well, there's AI. Um, let's talk a little bit deeper about CX. Now, we saw a great demonstration of, uh, of the CX experience and the customer experience on stage during the keynote. Talk to a little bit more about that. I'm going to put those two together. Okay, right. do it. So, uh, like. CX and contact center in particular, huge investment area for Zoom. Right. Uh, people just want to use that, that simple Zoom interface that they use every day, but use it to help serve their customers at their customer service touch points. And the way AI comes together in our CX is uh, we announced AI Expert Assist. Right. And that's, there's a contact center agent, they're, they're just, uh, they're serving their customer with a customer issue and it's able to serve up information to them during the course of the conversation that's useful. So like a knowledge base article. Right. Instructions, installation information. And just in that conversation um, that's happening either on the phone or, or uh, via video, it can serve it up in the interface so the agent can resolve that case faster and have um, better, better first call resolution. So it hits the bottom line. You, you had a really great demonstration on stage. I really enjoyed it. The, the, the customer was asking about warranty information. It served it up. It gave a rating about relevancy based upon was it relevant to the conversation or not. It was fantastic. And then one of the last areas that I was really excited to see shown on stage was the Work Vivo integration, yeah. the EX experience. Employees are such a key part. And, and acknowledging this internal communication as essential to, to building culture, to building happiness, what Zoom wants to talk about. Absolutely, so this is what we all collectively realize, is you know, we, we've, we've all gone hybrid, right, yeah. in most companies. But engagement is low, right? And there's a lot of quiet quitting out there. There are some studies that show six in 10 workers are quiet quitting, they're just disengaged. So engagement and culture is super important. Work Vivo is that hub for communication, for CEO communication on down to the company, but all other stakeholders too. Community, so there's community spots, there's recognition, kudos, mm -hmm, right? right? So it just, it brings that communication, that corporate communication engagement up to a whole new level. And, and what we're excited about is that uh, it, we're embedding it in the Zoom experience. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's fantastic. It's right there on, on the, uh, in, in the application itself on the bar too, I saw. Best of both worlds yeah. in Zoom, but it, it can also just be a tab 
on on the web as well. Okay. It's the best of both worlds. That's great. Yeah. And and I love the fact that what we're addressing here is that hybrid experience. So it's not even just about where I work, but it's about how I'm engaging with people, where I'm seeing them, what's the conversations we're having. Building that culture, even if it's through those small touch points, I think is a key element that you guys are bringing together there. It's that, and we can't leave out the actual physical workspace. Right. Right, and um, we've got everything from workspace reservation. So I, I use this every every week. I, uh, I don't go to the same desk every right. time I go into the office. Yeah, you so guys only have shared desk. Shared desk, twice a week. I go into workspace reservations um, a couple days before. I reserve my desk, and then I, when I get there, I check in. And we're adding way, like both wayfinding capabilities and AI to that as well. Right. I saw that. So it, wayfinding is just, it's a map to help you get to the desk because it's in a different place right. um, each time. And then um, the AI is, is, is just helping you sit next to people that you work closely with. Yeah, I mean, you're building out a really powerful workplace experience platform, and that's the way that I view it. Now, we've talked about this other alphabet soup, but there's another product that you are really excited about, you and I were talking about. That was the announcement of Zoom Docs. Uh, tell me about that. I'm really excited about that one. Zoom Docs is going to be the productivity enhancer, and what we say is, when you think the main Docs uh, products that are out there, right. they're literally based on a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Yeah. It's very static, not really built for hybrid work. So Zoom Docs does all of the basic use cases of text, mm -hmm. write a report, collaborate on a, on a briefing, you can write an essay right. or a poem, but, but you can also bring in intelligent... Um, Dynamic information. Dynamic information and that information, whether it's a table, a project management sheet, uh, smart recording, AI companion, building yep. content for you, it lives in modules, so it's reusable in different documents. Really powerful the way it comes together, and it's in Zoom and independent. Right. So it's just, it's really easy to use within the Zoom experience. Right. Yeah. I mean, what I saw on stage being walked through around Docs about its integration into the meeting workflow, for example, dynamically dropping into a team chat prior to the meeting, having it available to everyone to share content as they're in the meeting itself, and then living on afterwards. Afterwards. It, it, it's, it's a fantastic thing. It, you're right, it's no longer about a static eight and a half sheet, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, right? That's right. It's a little That's more right. dynamic. But well, Joseph, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing these updates. Um, I can't wait to see how this all rolls out this next year. It's going to be an exciting year for awesome. you guys. Enjoy yeah. that, thank you. Yeah, hey everyone, this is Craig with the Futurum Group. Thank you so much. We are here live at Zoomtopia, and we'll bring you some more information shortly. Take care.